Hey folks, you've probably been wondering why I've not been driving Bugsy for a couple of weeks. It's partly because I've been working on that thing, but also because something broke in Bugsy. Don't panic, it's nothing serious. In fact, it's something that broke before and I never fixed it properly. So let me explain what's going on. When I first started building this car, I had no knowledge and no money. And I just basically made do with what I had, both in funds and knowledge. I'm talking about my transmission mount. Now, transmission mounts are not expensive, but I, I didn't even have the money for, for one of them. Didn't know where to get one, all that kind of stuff. Now I know, and I've got a new transmission mount, but the one I made, it just, it wasn't right. Let me jack this up and we'll get underneath and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right, this will be hard to see because the exhaust is in the way, but hopefully you'll get the idea of what's going on. So there. You can see I've got a, a kind of bar going across from one side of the frame to the other. Two bolts on each side and then my transmission sits atop of that. And it did have two bolts going through that bar with bushings at either side of the, the bolts to insulate the vibration. That's not how it's supposed to work, but that's the only way I could figure out how to make it work at that time, because the bolt holes for the transmission are offset to this bar. So today, I'm gonna to do it right. Rock Auto to the rescue. Oh look, they've started using paper tape. How very eco-friendly of them. That's what it's supposed to look like. Now, straight away you can see why I couldn't figure this out because my bolt holes for the transmission are over here. So all I really have to do is take off that bar I've got and weld on a bit of steel to line this up. The difference with this is this section here is actually rubber so the whole transmission will be sitting on a big rubber pillow. So I should never get that vibration. Also means that even, even if the bolts come loose, it's not going anywhere because it's sitting on top of that. This will make more sense when I take that bar off and show you. So let me do that. Support bar removed. I have to say, I must have been really broke because this solution is really quite simple. As you can see, I've already welded on an extension offset plate. Those holes there line up directly with the, the, the underside of the transmission. So all I actually have to do, because those holes are the same size as those holes, right? But that's going to sit like that. So. All I have to do is drill two holes in there, bolt them onto that, bolt the whole thing up. Well, I'll probably bolt this onto the transmission first. And then put this up, bolt that to that. I, I don't understand. It's only like $20. Was it that? Was it that broke? I must have been. What an idiot. Okay, so drill two holes there. Reassemble.
I really don't understand why I didn't do that the first time. Right, quick test drive then. Like my key ring. Another gift from Toronto Ted. That was from ages ago, I've only just got round to using it. I wonder if the old girl, boy, Bugsy, still starts. Isn't it amazing the mess you can create with even the simplest of jobs? Although I am a bit of a master at that. Well, that's that done, thankfully. Um, again, I don't understand why I didn't do that the first time. It's possible that I hadn't discovered Rock Auto yet and all the the transmission mounts I was I were find I were I were finding. All the transmission mounts I could find were like $80 or something. I can't think why else. It's only $20, so do it right first time. If you can. Right, the reason I really wanted that done is this Sunday 
is Ancaster Swap Meet. It's just around the corner from me. It's like one of the biggest swap meets of the year. And it's only the second swap meet that I, I will have been to. If it's a nice day, I'll take Bugsy. If it's a kind of dodgy day, I'll take the truck and try and get parts. Although I don't have any, I don't have any money left. But we'll see. So I'll take some film of that. It's usually a good show, weather dependent. Right, take care everyone. Thank you very much for your support as normal. Bye-bye.